Hey everybody, this is the old sports editor Ronnie Gallagher and we're here for another edition of the Sundrop pregame show. Now today we're up in Spencer, North Carolina, the beautiful green of North Rowan. You know, last week we got to see the number one team in 3A, West Rowan. Well tonight we're going to get to see the number one team in 1A in Albemarle, the defending state champion. They're coming in to face the Cavaliers. Both teams are 3-0. and And we're in the ninth week of the season and North Rowan is still going for a, for a championship, which is a nice thing to see up here. And uh, there should be a big crowd, and we're going to go around and drink some Sundrop and talk to a few people. So, so let's go do it. Hey, uh, I'm here in the ticket booth with Sally Hundley and Lisa Klein, girls. Uh, what's it like about being a ticket taker? Is, is it getting hectic over here? Um, we had somebody here about two hours before wow. game time, and uh, from the amount of tickets we've been given, we're expecting quite a few. All right, good, good. So. You know, S Sally went to school here. Did you play sports here when you were here? Yes, I was a swimmer and a cheerleader. Swimmer, swimmer and cheerleader. Now, her, her father was Bob Hundley, who was a longtime athletic director. Well, what, what is it about North Rowan? You've never left. Um, well, I left to go to UNC, and that's about it. Um, yeah. It's such a community school that you just want to come back. Well, we're out here before game time. The, the players are just kind of lounging around, getting ready. Right over there is number 52, Javon Hargrave, listening to a little music. You know, he may be lounging around now, folks, but once he hits the field, it's a different story. He's already got five fumble recoveries. He scored two touchdowns on fumble recoveries and blocked punts. He's a real man. So we'll see, we'll see what happens when he hits the field against the 1A champs. And here comes the 1A defending state champion, Albemarle Bulldogs. All right, we're here with Albemarle head coach Danny Akins. Now, Danny, you said you'd been an assistant here since 92 before taking over? Right? Yeah, I was the assistant um, 92, and then Jack Gaster uh, came in in 93, and I coached with him. Then Baxter Morris took over, I coached with him. And then when Baxter took the job at White, well, I just took over. So, so how's that transition been? It's probably a smooth one. It's been real smooth. I know the kids. The kids know me. Uh, everybody on the staff was with us or worked with us in some aspects. So uh, it was a pretty easy transition. We haven't changed a whole lot. We're still basically the same album, Marl Bunch. We've been since 1993. Now, you know, last year I think your closest game was North Rowan, like 21 to 6 or something, or one of them. Yeah, and, um, um, so, so how do you how do you come in this game tonight? Well, we come in, we know that um, North Rowan's got great athletes. Uh, they got great upsides up front. Uh, we know they're going to play hard. We watch them on film. Uh, they make big plays. Uh, we come in, we know what they're going to do. We know they're great athletes. Our job is to contain athleticism. Tell, tell me one thing, how do you win all, all those championships down there? Well, I think it's just like anything else. We put in a program in 1993 when Jack Gaster came in. We put in a system, and we just stick with that system. And now our kids, they believe in the system, and we just keep emphasizing being disciplined and belief in that system and running the system like it's drawn up to run. And they just, you know, it, everybody knows it. What's it like after you finally won that state championship game? What's it like out there on that field? It's hard to explain. It really is. Uh, unless you go through it, it's hard to put it in words. Uh, as a coach, you know, I was like in awe of what our kids did that year. And then, again, the kids are so excited. They're running around excited. You're running around excited. You, you know, you just get caught up in the moment. It's just, it's just pretty much mass chaos. Well, you know, the, the, the one thing about Rowan and Stanley County is, is, is they all drink Sundrop, and I know you like Sundrop. Yes, sir. This is uh, something I grew up with in Cabarrus County for years, and my family drinks Sundrop. That's all we drink. <laughs> James House is a former North Rowan star, and he, he's talking to some of his defensive players now. He's a North Rowan graduate, and he played at Catawba. All right, we're here with Tasker Fleming, the North Rowan coach. Now, you know, it's the ninth week of the season, and you're playing for first place. That's a nice feeling. It is. It is. Yeah. Now, you, know, you gave uh, Albemarle their toughest game last year, and he, he was saying you know, that they're wary of you. He knows you got the athletes. So what's the mindset of your team? Well, you know, we're on top. They're on top. But uh, we also recognize they've got a bunch of state banners in their gym from you know, football. And when you walk in their stadium, you know you've been somewhere. Yeah. 
Now, I heard before the game that, that you're going to come out and, and ha have a few tricks up your sleeve. Is that true? I don't know about tricks, but uh, you know, my my career is probably based on the shadow of my Uncle Jimmy. And uh, when he played high school, single wing was in vogue. And uh, we ran single wing when I was at St. Paul's for two-point conversions because we couldn't find a kicker, and we could hit 65% of them. That's like making 100, what is that? Do the math, 130 kicks out of 100. So, you know, uh, Hopefully we can uh, give them a few matchup problems occasionally. Not something we're going to live and die by, but uh, something we've worked on for about a month. And if we need it for an extra point, it's there. We're going to try it on the offense. All right, great. Now, I noticed that Sam Starks in dress now, one of your best players. Yeah, it's a uh, shame that we can't use him tonight. But, uh, you know, he stayed in a set of guidelines. And last week uh, we were up 21, and uh, he got flagged for an unsportsmanlike. And uh, he's got to sit out a week. Wow. Uh, How is that going to affect the offense? Well, uh, we'll see when the night's over. It would be a good excuse for someone who wants to have one, but uh, you know, we, we prepared. If he was hurt, we'd have to play the game. And, uh, you know, we, we'll miss him, but uh, he'll be our number one cheerleader. Well, when the game's over, I'll have you a sun drop, so let's go do it. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. All right, see you. Tasker Fleming. Okay, I'm here with Daniel Griffith, one of the best quarterbacks in North Rowan history. You're now over at Catawba. Now, tomorrow, Catawba's playing Carson Newman. Now, you've been through a few Carson Newman games. What's that like? Uh... It's, it's rough, it's tough, uh, it's kind of unpredictable, but it's, it's by far the biggest game of the season. Oh, yeah. the biggest game of the season. Now, you know, uh, when you were at North, you set a lot of records. It had to hurt you last year when they weren't passing a lot. Oh, it, it ate me alive. It ate me alive. But, I mean, thankfully, you know, it's, it's getting back to some of his roots. And, you know, TJ's leading the county and passing. That's our check. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's real good as hell. Well, let's get back to Catawba now. You had a losing season last year, but you really turned it around. You're in first place. How have the Indians done it? Coach Hester. Coach Hester. Uh, Coach Hester has – has made a, a or built a chemistry around the whole team. Uh, whenever he took over as play caller, um, everybody gathered around him, and, and and he's and he's really been, you know, him him calling plays has has really helped this team a whole lot. All I can tell you is this: you won't have many opportunities in your life to play football games where people want you to do as well as they want you to do tonight. It's been a buzz all week about this game. In the community. I can't go to the store if somebody recognizes me and say, Coach, tell the boys go get them. There are a lot of teams out there that have played Albemarle and fallen, but Albemarle last year won a state title. That's last year. Last year, they got to earn it all over again, just like you. Every time you get on the field, that victory last week is long gone. You've got to earn it once more. You don't need me to tell you this. Don't make them better than they are. Don't grade them an A just because they got it on the helmet. <coughs> they look like Duke, and Duke is an academic school. The A is for academics. Football is, is green and gold. Football is nothing but green and gold. The experts say you're going to lose by 21. Some experts, Coach Browns, said 47 to 0. Our local paper gave us a nod about seven points down. And that's probably legit if you look at their record. But I'm looking at you, and you're the difference maker. You're the difference maker. It's been a long career. It really has. But I keep thinking back. When have I had a game that meant this much to me? I can only think of one that hit me this deep. 1988. 1988 Fuquay. We play. Fuquay's undefeated. A little upstart school out of Franklinton. They changed the game to Thursday told us Wake County didn't allow them to play on Friday night. I, I believed it. I was 23, 24 years old, believed it for what it was. We went up there on a Thursday night. Then the rest of the coaches in the conference watching us get out of the, the field house and going on the field. And I looked at Rock Harrison, a buddy of mine about then, head coach of Wake Forest. I said, what are you doing here? Don't you have a game? He said, coach, we play on Friday nights. And he laughed at me. He said, you've been suckered. The state fair was in. Fuquay didn't want it. You know, Graham Meyer didn't want his boys at the fair all day. I didn't have a game on Friday night. So he told me what he needed to tell me. We came a day early. He didn't call me until Monday afternoon. Kind of like this week, finding out late that things are going to change. But you know what? Those kids showed up 22 to nothing. The first time Fuquay was ever shut out on the home field in Graham Meyer's 36 year career. 22 to nothing. We took a knee on the one foot line with two minutes to go and killed the clock and could have had more. You can look it up if you want to Google it, because that was, that was a big game back then. Now it's your turn. That's my story. This is your story. 
We're going to shock the world. This echo is going to be heard all over the state of North Carolina because when we wake up Monday morning, all those projections of who's going where, someone else can travel. You win tonight, you're staying home. That's a playoff game. We might have time to eat a steak. Might have time to do something a little different. But we're not getting on the bus for four and a half hours to go play somebody because we lost to Albemarle. This is your life, your time. No time like tonight. That A is for academics. They can play like grade school kids. Put some Cavalier pride in this, in this right here and take it in the first play of the game and take it to the house. Cav pride on three. One, two, three. Cav pride! Okay, so that's a wrap on, on another Sundrop pregame show. So until next week, drink your Sundrop and go to a high school football game. It's the greatest thing ever.